Okay, we have some eyepiece here, I think, I think. But anyway, let me open it and see what is inside. Okay, that first package was off. Now I'm going for the second one. And let's see what is here. Okay, that. Let me see what is here. Oops, doesn't come much easy. Okay. And that's it. Okay, we have one eyepiece here. Oh, it's a meat eyepiece. But this is a package of meat. This is a meat. Uh, let me open it. Oh, this is a meat 15 millimeter eyepiece. I don't think I have a 15 millimeter of meat. So that's something lovely. I never had this one. So, so far so good, and I wonder what is this one? Hmm. Oh, Teleview, Teleview Visionary, plus a 40 millimeter. Oh, that's one of the best. Let's see. Teleview is like the apple of the um, astronomy thing, so just uh, selling things. Nowadays everybody makes the same, so I don't think it's very different. But that's a 40 millimeter right piece. Oh. So this is a funny shaped uh, Teleview cover. You cover it like that and yet there is something here like a, I don't know why it's shaped like that. The other end of it also. Uh, the, uh, the lens looks very clean, clear. It's quite heavy, probably around, yeah, I can see it. 150 200 grams looks very clear no fill to stop anything anywhere so so i don't see any distortion in the image in any corner so 40 millimeter teleview puzzle It is made in Japan. This notch here you see is for holding to the when you put the screw there, it will not come off accidentally. And many eyepieces, modern eyepieces, have something like that. Um, let's see when I have a chance and the sky is clear, we just test it. But uh, so far, so good. I'm a little bit uh, surprised by what why this is this shape. Um, hmm. It's a bit strange. Anybody knows why this eyepiece cap is like that? I have you 40 millimeter puzzle. I'm going to open it. So well packed. So the first package is open, now I'm going to open the second part. Oh, very nicely packed. Now look, there is inside is something like a um, cotton or something. Okay, another layer, protective layer. Oh, nice. Ah, that's the eyepiece. Let me open it. Okay, this is the Teleview. Visionary plus all 40 millimeter. Oh, nicely packed. Again, in a soft furnishing style. And then we come to the typical Teleview cap. Okay, 
Okay, Teleview has its own strange way of uh, having a cap. The way that they explain it is that this side is for the when the fold down uh, um, rubber is down, you can put it like that, and this side of it is for they say for two inch one, although this is one and a quarter inch itself. So it's a bit odd reasoning, but anyway, they want to be different. And let's open and see the lovely clean. Beautiful. And this is the eyepiece, how it looks. I have another one of these. I've got this second one for using in my binary view. I'll bring that one and show you. Okay, this is the first of my Teleview plus so and I have been using this one to observe the stars uh, in the Orion Nebula it's the sharpest Teleview I've ever seen of course in my uh, Mead LX200 classic 8 inch telescope no other office could show me all members all components except the spectral binaries in the Sigma Orionis this showed me. I could see details with this that I couldn't see with anything else. I could see nebulosity more clear in the M42 with this one than any other one. And now I can use it in a binary viewer version. So let's see how it will look in a binary viewer. So that is my Skywatcher binary viewer and I'm going now to put this binocular and uh, this puzzles Tell you post of forty millimeter ones in here. So I'm going to put this uh, in the binary view. Okay, that's the way it looks. And I will be looking forward to use it. Now I'm looking to the Teleview 40mm plus hole. And image is much brighter than this. Pixen. Seagullin is almost uh, non-existent. With this one you see something. With this probably around 2-3%, 5% to the edge you see some seagullin, or when you are near the edge, in lower or upper part. So, uh, if I want to say which one is the best, and uh, I compare this uh, Osara third, Vixen, second and Teleview first. I'm not, I'm not surprised why people buy Teleview. It's really good view. It's one of the better eyepieces or best eyepieces. And the surprising thing is that when I change the filter wheel from one filter to another, the image stays with the Teleview in focus. With other ones you have to adjust it again, but with this one it stays in focus. It's a strange. Uh, I probably have, from now on I will just save money and get on the Teleview for my eyepiece. That's good quality, that's even not the best of them, it's a puzzle. Um, I have s probably five or six uh, um, 40mm eyepieces in the range of one and a quarter, which is this one. and. Uh, this Teleview is brighter, more contrasty, you can see more, the stars are better shaped, round, and I'm really pleased with this. I have a 15 millimeter Teleview, and I just want to see how it compares with others that I have. Anyway, I will just give it a go. But this is the best I have in the range of 40 millimeter. I will just save now, from now on, just don't buy any other piece, and get Teleview only. 
tell if you one and a quarter inch uh, 40 millimeter plus so this sharp is really sharp it's probably the sharpest images I've seen in any eyepiece and this max vision 40 millimeter uh, 2 inch barrel eyepiece is even sharper than that that is amazing that's that's better than this of course, I don't know in the two inch barrel how the Teleview will do panoptic or ethos or others that uh, I don't have them. So, but this is this is good, better than this. Can be because it has a larger aperture, light gathering power. I wish one day I will try one of these uh, two barrel Teleview ones. Okay, when I'm using the Teleview 40mm plus hole, I can say that instead of trying to see, I start to observe. I can see a lot more. A few eyepieces can give me that view and that impression. Teleview is one of those ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, up to now my best uh, one and a quarter eyepiece uh, 40 millimeter one was this Ostara, or it's known also as Orbino. Uh, but now tonight I found that this uh, Vixen NVL40 is better than that, simply because across all the field, from the corner to corner, you don't see any seagull effects, any coma, any any uh, aberration stars remain pinpoint with this one no and now I'm going to use the Vixen 40 millimeter just to see how it is now I'm looking to the Teleview 40 millimeter plus hole and image is much brighter than this Vixen. Seagolin is almost uh, non-existent. With this one you see something. With this probably around 2-3%, 5% to the edge you see some seagolin, or when you are near the edge, in lower or upper part. So, uh, if I want to say which one is the best, um, I compare this uh, Osara third, Vixen second and Teleview first. I'm not super. I'm not surprised why people buy Teleview. It's really good view. It's one of the better eyepieces or best eyepiece. And the surprising thing is that when I change the filter wheel from one filter to another, the image stays with the Teleview focus with other ones you have to adjust it again but with this one it stays in focus it's a strange uh, I've probably have, from now on I would just save money and get to only Teleview for my eyepiece that's good quality that's even not the best of them it's a plus hole okay, I'm using the hydrogen alpha filter is a broadband hydrogen alpha filter practically with this filter you cannot see anything <laughs> uh, it's not built for visual use it's written and it is not for visual use for CCD and yeah that's true I may change it for something else but probably in the daylight I can use it I don't know the, I've read that people say that they cannot see any of the prominences or those kind of granules on the surface of the sun uh, in this broadband hydrogen alpha you need a narrow band but uh, anyway I may give it a go later of course I have to use the solar filter in front of the aperture opening then with the filter try to see what I can see um, I have probably five or six uh, um, 40 millimeter eyepieces in the range of one and a quarter, which is this one. And 
and this teleview is brighter, more contrasty. You can see more, the stars are better shaped, round. And I'm really pleased with this. I have a 15 millimeter teleview and I just want to see how it compares with others that I have. Anyway, I will just give it a go. But this is the best eyepiece I have in the range of 40 millimeter. I will just save now from now on, just don't buy any other eyepiece and get teleview only. Teleview 1 and a quarter inch uh, 40 millimeter plus hole is sharp, is really sharp. It's probably the sharpest images I've seen in any eyepiece. And this max vision 40 millimeter uh, 2 inch barrel eyepiece is even sharper than that. That is amazing. That's that's better than this. Of course, I don't know in the 2 inch barrel how the Teleview will do Panoptic or Ethos or others that uh, I don't have them. So, but this is this is good, better than this. Can be because it has a larger aperture, light gathering power. I wish one day I will try one of these uh, two barrel Teleview ones. Okay, when I'm using the Teleview 40mm plus hole, I can say that instead of trying to see, I start to observe. I can see a lot more. Few eyepieces can give me that view and that impression. Teleview is one of them. This is amazing night. I can see the Venus and Mercury in the same field of view in the telescope. That's the Venus you can see on top. And uh, down is the planet Mercury. Uh, what is interesting when I'm looking through the telescope and the eyepieces that I have here on the Venus and the Mercury, Venus, you see a shiny, creamy, white, yellow surface that's clouds we know now. When you look at the Mercury, you see orange, kind of light brown color. And that is typical of a surface which is know, uh, rocky, practically. We are seeing rock and lots of rust, iron rust. That's what I think about the surface colors I see in the images. I cut them in the same field of view with this uh, Teleview Plus or 40 millimeter eyepiece really nice eyepiece and also I could get them in this Telestron 25mm plus so it was really nice Teleview image quality perfect really good I looked at then with uh, this cheap uh, 4.8 ortho and then limited it to this uh, TMB optical 25mm 2.5mm Chinese very good eye relief very nice picture and now I'm using the 3.5 millimeter Pentax X WX or XW. Yeah. XW, extremely wide. And that's the image quality is good, but comparable to this, slightly better than this 2.5 millimeter. So, not much big improvement. So, if you want, you can get this one. So in this view, you can see the Venus and Mercury in the same eyepiece view. The eyepiece uses the Teleview Plus of 40 millimeter.